At all times, I want a good, clean, hard fight by both of you. Obey my commands. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Oh, and Chris Stranger does not want to touch gloves with Mr. Dagenhart. A little bit of bla bad blood here, Robin Black. The Stranger is an intense, intense dude, and he comes roaring out at the beginning. Look at him. He is ready to go. And right away, he comes in, and he goes down. Dagenhart lands a shot. And he smells the blood. He's, the, he's in the Thai plum. Some big shots now oh. by Dagenhart. Knees right up the middle. And Chris Stranger could be in big trouble right here. Chris Stranger is in deep trouble. Man, he came roaring out there and he ate a huge punch. And then some big, big knees from Chase Dagenhart, who is a bad, bad man when it comes to Muay Thai fighting. Dagenhart now in side control. Stranger trying to get back to the full guard. And he impressively does. Stranger is a tough dude. We have seen him in some wars here in Winnipeg before. Even in his only loss to Jay Alexander, it was a three-round bloody war. This guy is hard to put away. And Stranger looking for the single leg takedown. Dagenhart trying to stuff the takedown. But Stranger committed. Very good job indeed by the Winnipeg individual. C committed is right. Stranger it commits to everything he does. Look at the intensity in his face. He fights for 15 minutes like that. And, uh, you know, he will not take a step back. He's great on the ground, but he just loves to scrap, so he keeps coming forward. Stranger trying to dig it. Eats a knee for his efforts. Man. Another knee up the middle by Dagenhart. And he looked, it looked like Stranger was trying to go for a throw. Dagenhart's knees are vicious. He's landed five of those straight to the skull. A stranger who started the fight on his back, kind of confused as to where he was. So, uh, I mean, Stranger is a tough dude. And of course, Stranger in the black shorts, Dagenhart in the camo shorts, and now Dagenhart has the full mount. Chris Stranger in a lot of trouble right now. One thing Stranger has. And wow. Chris Stranger tries to switch the position. And good job by Dagenhart to stick with this position. Yeah, Stranger didn't end up on top like he hoped to, but he's no longer mounted. He's, he's got a half guard out from the bottom. He's got him nice and close to him. I mean, he's great on the ground. He's got a lot of skills down here. So this is, again, he's going to look for that sweep. And hopefully he, trying to escape at the back door, but he eats some punches. Again, a bad spot, and I'm surprised Dagenhart didn't sit back for an armbar there. But... Uh, I think he's content to just posture up and punch. Dagenhart likes to hit guys. That's what he does. He has five wins, four of them are by TKO, and he just likes to pound dudes. Um, and Chris Stranger wow. does escape out the back door, and the crowd here, very appreciative. They love Chris Stranger in Winnipeg, man. This guy, uh, he, he fights on CFC all the time. He's really proud of his native heritage, and there's uh, tons of guys that, that come out to support him. He's just, he's a great, great fighter and a, and a great feature of CFC all the time. You gotta love a guy that's willing to stand and trade, even if he doesn't have the most technically proficient skills. Well, he'll outclass a lot of guys on the ground, but he'll stand up and trade with them. I mean, look at the knees he's taken to the face, not to mention that huge shot at the beginning. And the guy is still standing in there throwing And he lands hands. a shot of his own. And the crowd responds. Some big shots by Chris Stranger. But Dagenhart, Dagenhart responds. The stranger just landed a huge left hook, too. I mean, this guy, he, he, he's like a, a Terminator. You have to really finish him. Oh, and he eats a big knee once again, but he responds. Coming forward, throwing with reckless abandon. Man, this guy, like, you just, you have to put him unconscious. You have to choke him out. Oh, here comes another knee. Well, he's, he knew that one was coming. But, uh, man, he's got so many uh, weapons. He's great jiu-jitsu. He's, he's a tough guy. But it's really his heart and his, and his gameness that makes him so dangerous to fight. And again, he throws some big shots. But he gets stuck in this the clinch, and he punches his way out of it. And again, you've got to respect a guy that tries to come out to entertain the crowd. Yeah, this, I mean, he is not afraid of the shots that he's taken. And Dagenhart has, has got some marks on his face, too. I mean, this is just a war. And it is the knees of Dagenhart that is, uh, you know, his biggest weapon in this fight, for sure. Yeah, and uh, he's got to keep using that. He's landed every knee he's thrown, which is a really rare situation. So he's got to keep working that. But Stranger's starting to work the jab in the left hand now. Stranger finding a way to get through the guard of Dagenhart. These are the kind of fights that, that anybody can understand. Look at this. Both guys landing with big shots, the, but it, again, that knee of Dagenhart is and he, very destructive. He digs with it too, and he's a big, powerful man with a with a great 
uh, experience in Muay Thai. So, I mean, th each one of those is finishing any one of us sitting on the couch at home watching this right now. So, uh, the Chris Stranger is just an absolute warrior. And you, you just have to sit in amazement that Chris Stranger continues to move forward after eating all those shots. Just unbelievable. As we take a look at the action from that beautiful round. Look at the beginning. He comes roaring across and bang, left. And it just puts him to the ground. A crazy start to a crazy round. And look at these knees. That knee is vicious. And now they just, here comes another one. Bang, right in the face. Stranger is, it's the, 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 the stranger's toughness is the story of this round. Look at some of the damage that Dagenhart's doing. I mean, he is a big, powerful guy, and Stranger's taking everything he has. Look at this, and it just kept coming. And that really could be a confidence boost going into this second round. Chris Stranger knowing that Dagenhart gave him everything he could. Well, that and Dagenhart's got to be thinking, what do I have to do to put this guy away, you know? Um, so there's... There's definitely some uh, some mental games going on in both guys' heads right now. And again, Stranger comes out. Needless to say, I think uh, Dagenhart, Chase Dagenhart, won that first round. I would say so. Um, but Stranger fought so tough. Like, a, you know, it was a 10-9 round for sure. When... And a uh, little... Yeah, a little uh, Bruce Lee action yeah, from Chris Stranger. Mr. Mark. Yeah, uh, you know, hey, those aren't going to land very often, but if that one ever does, that's a highlight reel forever and ever, and you know it, you know. Um, now Stranger with the body lock. He drags Dagenhart down to the ground, trying to take his back, showing his grappling abilities. This is what he should be doing. He did beautiful Taking work. this fight into his realm as the blood trickles out of his nose and maybe he feels the urgency. Look at Dagenhart's face, too. These two guys, this is only six minutes into this fight. I mean, but these guys look like they fought twice today. And now Chris Stranger continues to throw his strikes. A nice push kick right up the middle. Man, when you're, when you're virtually indestructible like Chris Stranger is, you fight a totally different way. I mean, it, it's irrelevant what Dagenhart does in Chris Stranger's mind. He's going to go forward and do what he's going to do. He's going to get hit in the process, but he's going to keep doing it. Is that a good thing? Well, I don't think it's the smartest game in the world. I mean, you can't fight forever like this. But uh, fans absolutely love it. And if Stranger has, you know, 10 fights like this in his career as opposed to 20 if he fought a safer game, I think there'd be 10 incredibly memorable fights. And it's Stranger here pushing the pace. Landing right on the mark. Man, and... Look at this. Look at Dagenhart. I mean, he's been winning this fight. And look at his face. Up until this point, this round is all Chris Stranger. He is going to town. And he tries to throw Dagenhart. And hitting right on the jaw once again is Chris Stranger to chase Dagenhart. Wow. I mean, I can't say it enough times. <laughs> Chris Stranger is an absolute animal. And it looks like Dagenhart is fading. Stranger is getting stronger as this fight progresses. And, and Dagenhart's mind has got to be going, are you kidding me? You're you know? seeing his legs are quite rubbery right now as Chris Stranger continues to throw. That's another thing about Stranger. It's like he doesn't have the most impressive physique. He's a fit guy, but his, his cardio is insane and his muscular endurance because he throws everything he has into each one of these punches and kicks. I'm actually quite surprised that Stranger doesn't see it right now to go to the body, try to take out any of the energy that Dagenhart has left. Yeah, it's just, I mean, he's been hit so many times. This is all instinct now. He's just, he's uh, standing in there and just fighting. He's not, he's not competing in mixed martial arts. Throws right a beautiful combination right on the mark. Everything he throws is with everything he has, even that jab right there. But yeah, you know, if he started working that le those legs right now or do, uh, throwing some shots to the body, this could slow Dagenhart down and he could finish this fight. This is Chris Stranger's round so far. Stranger pushing the pace, and Dagenhart has not been able to respond except for that little exchange. But Chris Stranger comes back now with some strikes of his own. Yeah, Dagenhart is, is now the one moving forward, and Stranger almost seems to be doing well, like counter-punching and standing back and waiting for, for the opportunities. And again, fatigue has to be an issue for Chase Dagenhart. He couldn't even throw that knee, got the clinch, but was too tired, it seemed, to throw it. Yeah, but he's not giving this fight up. He, he soundly won the first round, and he's going to stand in there. The crowd is loving this. He's, these two are going to fight to the end. 
And you have to give the props to these two absolute warriors, leaving it all inside of the cage. Yeah, this is a brilliant, brilliant fight. It's a privilege for us to watch something like this when two guys put this much effort into, uh, you know, a battle for themselves, but also to entertain all of us. Man, they just, they just keep throwing. No quit in either one of these athletes. I just, you know, one thing, Stranger loves that high kick, and he's thrown it six or eight times. You know, if each one of those was a low kick that landed, we'd be in a different fight there. We see another one. We'd be in a different fight right now if he landed, you know, eight low kicks to uh, Dagenhart. But, Robin, in the minds of the judges, what are they looking for? Do they want to see the low kick, or do they want to see an attempted head kick knockout? Yeah, well, I mean, if you land the head kick, it's, it's going to sway things a lot. I mean, who knows what the judges see? Right now, they see two animals just really moving forward and trying to finish each other. Well, if I'm sitting cage side and I'm judging this fight I have to give this round to Chris Stranger he's been more effective he's been more active and again he continues to throw those head kicks all the more impressive considering the amount of damage he took in round one it re there that's a that leg kick hurt a very entertaining tilt between these two middleweights and we see the abuse Chase Dagenhart sustained in that round yeah and stranger's face looks just the same now robin black let's just say it is a round of peace one for chase dagenhart and one for chris stranger which means the winner of this round wins the fight yeah big john made them touch gloves this time and i mean both guys were willing they're both have nothing but respect for each other right now and they're about to put in the toughest five minutes of their life but yeah i'd say it's one round of peace and uh Leg kick by Dagenhart scores, and Stranger goes up high. Blocked by Dagenhart. Dagenhart ended the last round with a hard leg kick and started this one with a hard leg kick. There's another. This is probably a really good idea. You've got to do something to slow down the movement of Chris Stranger and the attack. And Stranger now just throwing everything but the kitchen sink. Yeah, I think that was that kitchen sink spinning back fist right there, too. <laughs> Yeah, he's just, I mean, there's absolutely, there's not only no quit in Chris Stranger, there's no rewind, there's no backwards, there's no pause. I mean, he's just, this guy likes to fight. And right now, Chris Stranger looks like he's ahead, in my opinion. He's been more active, landed the bigger shots, and he continues to be on the offensive, which is the most important thing. Yeah, and that, wow, those are going to add up. But the crazy thing, uh, there he's looking for that kitchen sink back fist again. But uh, the crazy thing about it is him taking so much abuse and starting the fight so in such a tough place, and then you know really taking over in the middle uh, the middle round. Now, nice low leg kick by Chase Dagenhart. Those are adding up. But look, at Stranger still kicking with that leg. But uh, you know Dagenhart's uh, you know using his Muay Thai skills and and he, he's seeing that work now and he's going to keep using it. And that's what he has to do if he wants to emerge victorious in this fight. He's got to fight smart. See how he's got, uh, he really is looking like a Muay Thai fighter right now. The way that he's moving, the way his hands are, there he's answering with like straight to shot. See the head movement? That's, it, he's doing the Muay Thai walk. He's just mo walking him down and playing tough man contest with him. It's really cool to see. He's looking for a counter, counter left hook there. The stranger moved in. I expect to see that again. Nice leg kick by Dagenhart. Oh, it's starting to go red and green now, that leg. It's, uh, yeah, cause, you know, if Stranger should be answering with leg kicks there, he's looking. Uh, it's just uh, those head kicks haven't landed, and they've taken a lot of energy out of him. Now very difficult to determine right now who is winning this round. Well, I don't think Stranger has done that much damage in this round, and I think that those leg kicks are slowing him down. You know, he's not moving forward with the same... Uh, attack as he was before now the lactic acid and the blood and the clotting is starting to take place in that muscle tissue this is you know you can't stop chris stranger just by punching him in the face so you got to find a way to break down the machine a little bit Dagenhart is, is doing that right now just picking his shots which is the smart game plan in this exhausting third round absolutely and i, I mean he's got to have landed eight leg kicks there's <laughs> say number nine and uh you know, and there's number 10, and, and that, I think, at right, as of right now, he's absolutely winning this round. And you see Chris Stranger now fading. 
and you know you can see him turning his hips over when he throws those leg kicks and you can see by the way he moves that he's got strong you know a tie background a tr a strong kicks and strangers just taking those but the meat in his leg isn't looking too good right now and he's not able to move forward like he was before he lands once again and that might, might be the difference robin so far i think it is i mean you, suddenly it's like he's found a strategy that can win this round and win the fight for him and and like a real smart fighter he's he's really sticking with it and i know it is entertainment and you want to always put on a show for the crowd but the most important thing is to get that w absolutely i mean this this, this is these guys living this is this is what what they want to do with their life and you need wins to be able to do that um, but, you know, also, the, each fan is different. Yeah, everybody loves seeing guys punch in the face, but, you know, when you see a really well-executed plan like this and those leg kicks, I mean, if, if you've ever been kicked in the leg, you have a lot of respect for what's going on in here right now. Wow, Stranger's having a tough time when that, when his left leg comes back to the ground. And Dagenhart is just picking it apart right now. He's just, I mean, his pain threshold is so high. Those kicks, you know, we saw earlier, Latour, who's a really tough guy, he got finished with three or four leg kicks. Stranger's been taking him, there's another one of them. He's been taking them all round, and he's still moving and still attacking. And Stranger, again, once again feels the urgency as he wages in. Yeah, Stranger is just, he'll be right down to the wire. And unless, unless he gets finished, he is going to keep fighting to the end. And we hear at the clock, 10 seconds left in this round. And both guys trying to finish it out strong here. What a, what a great fight, really. A tremendous battle of these two middleweights, Chris Stranger and Chase Dagenhart, as we take a look at some of the action from that third and final round. And there we see nice combination by both guys. Chris Stranger going in as he feels the urgency. He digs to the body, and it was the knees and the leg kicks, the Muay Thai prowess of Chase Dagenhart that may allow him to win this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, these are two warriors inside this cage. Let's hear for these two athletes one more time. Unbelievable fight. We have a winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated in the blue corner, Chase Dagenhardt! Chase Dagenhardt, your winner?